In today's video, I'm going over my motivation for my goals, my aspirations, and my dreams. And I hope you guys can relate to this video. And I hope you guys, this gives you some motivation for you to keep chasing your dreams down, to chase, keep chasing your goals down, and keep chasing your aspirations down. So my whole life growing up, right, I always had low self-esteem issues, like from kids. I fixed it now. I've been working on myself the last few years now to where I don't have this, so I'm openly able to talk about it. So growing up, I'm going to take you a little backstory of my childhood life. Fifth grade, we our elementary school got shut down. Our city's pretty big, so we had a bunch of elementary schools. Ours got shut down. I had to go to this elementary school, and all my good friends went to that elementary school. So I already had to go to a new school, make new friends. And my problem was, growing up, is I always cared so much about what other people thought about me. I always cared way too much to try to fit in. I didn't want to hurt anyone's feelings. I just always tried to be the nice guy. I was always trying to be the people pleaser. I was always trying to worry about what that person thought about me. If I did this, that person. And I was always scared of getting rejected by girls. I always had a low self-esteem growing up. And that started from fifth grade. I really believe that when all our friends got mixed up no excuses right then we go to middle school same thing care way too much about what other people think trying to fit in just your normal kid stuff right trying to fit in trying to have the coolest clothes same with high school then i get to college right i'm supposed to play college football i didn't take the training very hard i got to the first week of training camp at the university of mount union division three my freshman year first week of training camp i was struggling very hard i made it about six days in kept calling my family. I was missing my family back home. I wasn't going very hard. I was just like going through the motions and I was expecting to start. There's a freshman in a varsity team in division three. And I didn't even, I wasn't even gonna dress for the freshman team. Cause that's how bad I was compared to everybody else. Cause I didn't put any training in. I didn't take it very hard. I thought I could just show up and fit in. I wasn't putting in any work. And after college, right? You graduate, you come home. I quit college, dropped out get a job at the local grocery store and I'm struggling because I see everybody's in college. I'm not really doing anything. And I let myself go. I was overweight and I wasn't feeling very confident with myself. And then I finally got to a point where I hit rock bottom. I was like, there's gotta be better out of life. This is my motivation for life. This is why I go so hard for my goals. And this is why I go so hard after my aspirations. This is why I go so hard for my dreams, man. There's gotta be more to life than feeling like worrying about what other people think about you there's got to be more to life than trying to fit in there's got to be you got to fit into your niche once you start being your authentic self once you start being who you're meant to be that's when life starts being easy for you not even being easy for you because you're always going to have obstacles you're always going to have things thrown at you but once you start figuring out what you want to do and you start focusing in on that it's the best thing ever because then you're not no longer trying to fit in you're no longer trying to be fat person you're no longer trying to fit into that friend group you're no longer trying to be fake fake energy is going to kill you fake energy is going to make you feel like you're no walk you don't have any self-worth once i started realizing my self-worth once i started but once i looked myself in the mirror and had that conversation with myself told him what what has gotten into you you are so far from who you are you have to figure out who you are and that's once I did that, I started reading every day. I started working out every day. Once I started listening to self-improvement podcasts, I started reading all the self-help books. I had to change my life around. And this is my motivation for my dreams. This is my motivation for my goals. This is my motivation for my aspirations, man. Don't you want the best? I want the best that life has to offer. And if I don't, if I continue to look at what everybody else is doing and trying to fit in and trying to be, impress everybody else, I'm never going to achieve that because I'm going to be so caught up looking at everybody else's life instead of focusing on me, man. I want the best that life's got to offer, offer best money, best food. But like, I want all that. That's my motivation for life. That's my motivation for my dreams, man. That's why I go so hard. That's why I work out a lot of the times. This is why I'm working on business ideas. This is what I'm trying to, like, I want to live life. I want to travel. I want to experience the best life that I can live. Because my whole life, I was always so worried about what other people thought about me. I was always so worried about what what's going to happen if I do this? What are people going to think about? It doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. It's all that matters what you think, what you feel about yourself, man. That's what life's all about. It's not about having the best money. It's not about having all that good stuff. That stuff comes with chasing down the best version of yourself. But the best thing about life, the best motivation about life is that you get to live the life that you want. And you, you shouldn't be focusing on other people. You shouldn't focus on what other people are going to think about. You got to focus on what you think about yourself. And once you start focusing on what you think about yourself, and once you start feel, realizing what you want out of life, go all in after that, man, because you deserve the best 
women, you deserve the best food. You deserve the best house. You deserve the best travel experience. You deserve the best cars. You deserve all the good things that life have to laugh. Life has to offer, and that's my motivation for life, man. I deserve the best things that life has to offer, and you do too. We gotta stop worrying about what other people think about us. What other people are gonna say it doesn't matter none of that matters man this is for people that are trying to chase down the best version of themselves and this is for people that struggle with a low self-esteem issue man start working on you start worrying about what you got to take care of and i promise you your life's going to change around and you're going to achieve your goals you're going to achieve your dreams you're going to achieve your aspirations because you're worrying about what you want to take care of and you're going to get the best that life has to offer it's your boy t signing out i hope today's video was there to help you and thank you for listening i'll see you guys in the next video peace out